Welcome back to Classy and Chic Gems podcast. My name is Anita and I'm your podcast host, founder. And I just want to say before I get started, Happy New Year. 24 <laughs> 2024 has arrived and I'm so excited about it. I can tell you this, 2023 was a very, very hard year for me. And it started in June and I cannot um, even remember like from June until December Everything was a blur to me because, you know, I lost my brother and then my family and I experienced some, a lot of firsts. Like we experienced our first Thanksgiving without him and then his birthday came up and then our first Christmas without him. And we always did things on, you know, we tried to do things on New Year's. And so New Year's was the first time without him. We were, we were all together last New Year's. And so, um, you know, I think the one thing that I've learned is that grief hits us at unexpected times. And even if you're a joyful person like I am, you're still going to experience grief. That does not mean that you are walking through a season that's bad for you. you. You love your loved ones. And so you're always going to remember them. And I am so blessed to have had a big brother who made such a huge impact on my life. And so I want to speak this before I even get started. If you're walking through a season of grief, my prayer is that you realize that you are not a burden and that you are not doing anything wrong whenever you remember your loved one. Because there are going to be moments when emotions and things like that just kind of flood you. And, um, you know, for me, I have thought about especially... There's been several things that happened like right before Christmas where I just wished I could call my brother and just talk to him. And, uh, you know, we always told each other funny stories and I'd get his advice and all of that. And he'd talk, he'd call me and tell me things. And um, there were several times where I'm just like, oh my goodness, I wish I could talk to him about this and tell him, uh, you know, get his advice and he'd pray with me and, you know, just uh, just a lot of things. But the thing that we have to remember is that God gives us our people for a while on this earth. You know, we ha- we all have a certain amount of days on this earth. And when it's our time, we have to go. You know, we go with the Lord. And so um, sometimes we look at it. It's hard for us because the time seems short. But in the grand scheme of things, God is always in control. And so when you know that, when you know where the person is going, you have comfort and you take consolation in the fact that they're with the Lord. They're not hurting. You know, they're not sick anymore or whatever it may be. Um, You know that God is taking care of them. And so that leads me into this. I have seen this all over social media and I wanted to talk about it because it's something that I wrote about and I made um, a quick video about it the other day. But in 2024, my prayer is that we are good to each other. You know, I, we talk about that all the time. We talk the talk, but a lot of times we fail when it comes to walking the walk and treating people right. You might say, well, Anita, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, I'm just going to come right out and say it. You know, I think that we cannot treat other people as if they're disposable because everybody is God's special somebody. And when you look at it that way, you begin to develop a different attitude about, okay, well, wait a minute. That person that I saw a few minutes ago is God's special somebody. So I need to treat them right. You know, I'm pretty sure... That if God were in the room when we make a lot of decisions, our decisions would go the opposite way. Because we would be doing exactly what's right. And so my hope for you is that you make the right decision even when no one is looking. Like when other people won't know about what happened. My prayer is that you make the right decision and that you treat people well. And you might say, well, what does that look like? That means treating people well in every aspect of your life. Because... When you treat people the way that you would want to be treated, your life is going to look different. You know, I believe that the seeds we sow in this life, 
are the same seeds that we will reap in this life. So if we sow seeds where we hurt somebody else and we act as if they don't matter, then we're going to reap those same seeds. And I can promise you, a lot of times whenever we have to do the reaping, we're not happy about it. (laughs) We're not happy about that because we want to sow good seeds and we want to get the return of those seeds. We don't want to reap the harvest of things that we've done. So my hope for you is that you understand that every single thing that you do in this life, God knows about it. And I hope that you are making decisions that show that you are the hands and feet of Jesus. Because whenever you treat people right, God is going to reward you. Whenever you treat people wrong, you're going to have more lessons that you have to walk through. And, you know, I think for me, this is not a lesson season for me. (laughs) I don't want to have any more tests. I don't want to walk through any more lessons because, you know, the more that you grow in the Lord, you understand, wait a minute, I have to be at a place where I can hear from him clearly. And when you hear from him clearly, sometimes God will tell you to pray for that person who hurt you. Even though in your flesh, you're thinking, I don't want to pray for that person. But he will tell you to do it anyway. He'll tell you, you know, uh, pray for that person. Pray that they see what they did wrong. And pray for your own heart that you don't grow cold. And that you don't start becoming somebody who acted in the same way they did. So when you begin to look at it like that. When you begin to see that we're all beautiful vessels that God has created, we're God's special somebody, but we're also flawed in that we make mistakes, you begin to realize that we have to rely on God with every single thing that we do in this life. And one of the things that that I hope for everyone listening is that you never walk in unforgiveness. Because when you walk in unforgiveness, you will never be blessed the way that you're supposed to be. And you will never develop an attitude that you should. Because you're always thinking about, okay, well, how can I get this person back? Let me tell you something. If somebody mistreats me, that's on them. That's not on me. I'm not going to try and go and mistreat them back as well. And, you know, I've had people mistreat me in very vicious ways. And God has just told me, you know, pray for them. Now, was I happy to pray for them all the time? No. (laughs) That's just me being honest. That's That was probably a time where I needed to be prayed up a little bit more. But that's just me being honest. I mean, I wasn't always happy to pray for somebody who, you know, did things where I felt like it was something that was more on the calculated end of things. But at the end of the day, God didn't tell me just to pray for the people who did light things to me. He told me to pray for the people who did anything to me where where I needed to forgive them. And so I do. But I want to remind you, being a Christian is not easy. It's not It's not one of these patty cake things that you wake up and, oh, you know, everything is great every single day. You're going to walk through some hard things and you're going to work. Well, you're going to have to work through some things. You're going to have to deal with people who hurt you. Some people hurt you on purpose. Some people did not. But at the end of the day, how you behave is what matters most. So in 2024, I pray that you walk in a way to where you are a light for everybody that you come in contact with. My prayer is that your heart is so open and that you are able to illuminate the path for people who are feeling hurt and may feel lost or whatever it may be. And I also pray that you harbor no unforgiveness for people that have hurt you. And I know that's going to sound like something that a lot of people cannot do because you've had people hurt you, seriously, in ways that you can't imagine. And you've had people do things and tell you things and just make you feel one way and then they turn around and did something else. And I understand it. I understand it. I understand that, you know, what hurt looks like. But I also understand what love and hope looks like as well. So when you let all of that go, you start with a fresh, clean slate. And on that slate, 
God is going to write the path for your life. You know, we're all on a road that takes us somewhere beautiful. But sometimes we have detours, and those detours take us to places that hurt us sometimes. And there's sometimes people there that hurt us. But at the end of the, but at the end of the day, how we react to those people is what matters most. Are you reacting in a way that God wants you to react? Or are you reacting in a way that the world wants you to react? Because when you think about it, nobody is disposable in this life. Nobody. That person that you threw away yesterday could be somebody that was going to be your biggest blessing in the future. And whenever you realize that, you walk in a way that is according to God's purpose for your life. So if I could say anything to you, I would say don't adopt the candy store mentality that the world has. The world wants you to believe that you can just throw people away and it doesn't matter and you can treat people any kind of way and you can do this and do that and be deceitful and whatever it may be. But at the end of the day, the seeds that you sow will turn around and be the same seeds that you reap and you don't need that in your life. You need God's blessings in your life. So my hope is that you walk according to God's will. And you let him bless you and you allow him to see, allow him to show you who you need to go and make things right with. But most of all, my prayer is that you always understand that God works everything out for a reason. So you might say, well, I did somebody wrong and I don't think that person wants to talk to me. God will show you how you can work things out with that person. He definitely will. You might not be able to like get back in their good graces right away, but he can show you how to work things out. At the end of the day, you are his special prize. And the more that you realize that, you behave accordingly. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that you would bless everyone who is listening to this right now, Lord. I pray that you would just give them your wisdom, give them your hope and give them your love throughout 2024. I pray for uh, the crooked spaces to be straightened. Lord, I pray that you would just erase hurt and pain and everything that a lot of people have walked through and help them to love and, and grow and understand, you know, that the decisions they make in this life have a huge impact on others. And most of all, I pray that people would believe that Every single person they meet in this life is special. And we have to treat people accordingly. So we give you the honor and the glory and the praise. And we thank you for all that you were doing in our lives and have done in the past. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.